Martin Luther King Jr., led the nonviolent civil rights movement in the United States, in the 1950s and 1960s, and he is also remembered for his masterful oratorical skills, most memorably in his I Have a Dream speech. He led peaceful protests to fight for the equal rights of all people, including African Americans, and he became not only the symbolic leader of American blacks, but also a world figure. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia, United States of America. He was born to African American parents and was the second of three children. His father Michael King Sr. was a pastor, and his mother Alberta Williams King was a former schoolteacher. The King family was very religious. Both Martin Luther King's father and grandfather were pastors in Atlanta, Georgia. The King children grew up in a loving home but experienced racism from an early age. At the time when Martin Luther King was growing up, life was hard for African Americans. Lawmakers in some places, especially southern United States made special rules, to keep black people and white people separated in what was called, segregation. The Supreme Court ruled that it was legal, as long as things were separated but equal. Black people had different schools, different bathrooms, different restaurants, and even sections of the bus to white people. Drinking fountains in public places were labeled for people of different races. Black people did not have the same access to proper health care or housing. Also they did not receive equal pay for jobs. They were also denied the right to vote in elections, and were not accepted nor respected. They were always discriminated against. This was the atmosphere that young Martin Luther King grew up in. King's father encouraged his children to become well-educated. King attended a segregated public school. He did so well that he skipped two grades, and graduated from high school at the young age of 15. After graduating he started his college education at Morehouse College in Atlanta, and graduated with a degree in sociology in 1948. After graduating King decided to follow his father's footsteps and enrolled in a seminary, and in 1951 he graduated from the seminary with honors and was class valedictorian. It was around that time, that he joined America's oldest and largest civil rights organization called the NAACP, or the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. King's father was the head of this organization in Atlanta. Soon after, he enrolled in a Ph.D. program at Boston University in Massachusetts. While in Boston he met music student, Coretta Scott. They married in 1953, and later they had four children. While completing his degree, he became pastor of a Baptist church in Montgomery, Alabama in 1954. In 1955 at the age of 26, he received a doctorate in theology from Boston University. His first major involvement in the civil rights movement began in 1955, by leading the Montgomery bus boycott. This started when Rosa Parks, refused to give up her seat to a white man on a Montgomery city bus. She was arrested and spent the night in jail. To protest her arrest, the NAACP chose King to lead a city-wide bus boycott in Montgomery, and as official spokesman. The Montgomery boycott lasted for 381 days and so many people refused to ride the buses. The boycott placed a severe economic strain on the public transit system, and downtown business owners. During these days of boycott King was arrested, he was threatened and his house was bombed, but he never stopped his work for equality. On November 13, 1956, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled, that bus segregation was illegal, ensuring victory for the boycott. This was a major victory for the civil rights movement, and at the same time Martin Luther King Jr. emerged as a black leader of the first rank. However, many people were upset by the changes that were happening. In the 11-year period between 1957 and 1968, King traveled all over giving thousands of speeches, and writing five books as well as numerous articles, to promote civil rights. In 1959 King visited India, and there he met with the followers of Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi had used peaceful protests to demand Indian independence. 
the trip heavily strengthened King's belief in nonviolence, and also King was heavily influenced by the activist, Bayard Rustin. King was arrested more than 20 times, assaulted at least four times, and he was stabbed once. In 1963 King helped to organize the famous, March on Washington. Over 250,000 people, attended this peaceful march in an effort to show the importance of civil rights legislation. Standing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, King delivered his majestic 17-minute, I Have a Dream speech. He spoke of a day when all men would be treated equally. I have a dream. That my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Later that year, Martin Luther King Jr. was named Man of the Year by Time magazine. In 1964 at age 35, King received the Nobel Peace Prize, and he was the youngest person to have received the honor at the time. Also King was awarded five honorary degrees. King's actions helped get the Civil Rights Act of 1964 passed. The act outlawed discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. In 1965, King led a march in Selma, Alabama, in support of African American voting rights. There he delivered his famous How Long, Not Long speech. Soon the Voting Rights Act of 1965 was passed, which guaranteed the right to vote to all African Americans. King gave his final public speech on April 3, 1968. I have been to the mountaintop. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. On the evening of April 4, 1968, while standing on the balcony of his motel room in Memphis, Martin Luther King Jr. was shot and killed. He was 39 years old. King's reputation grew after his death. In 1986, the United States government created a national holiday in King's honor. It is celebrated as Martin Luther King Jr. Day, on the third Monday every January. More than 900 streets in the United States have also been named after King. In 2011, a statue built in King's memory stands in Washington, D.C., and there are also memorials for King around the world. Martin Luther King Jr. is remembered for his tireless work during the civil rights movement, and his dream that one day everyone would be treated as equals. His legendary words are widely quoted today, how long, not long, because the arc of the moral universe is long, but, it bends toward justice. <laughs>